The layout at a composting facility is crucial to how efficiently material is handled and can significantly impact the quality of the end products that are produced. A good layout minimizes the amount of material handling and helps control outside factors like moisture that can impact maturation and cause odors. Here are six areas that can make all the difference at your compost facility. First stop is the drop-off area. How and where you accept incoming organic waste matters. Since composting facilities typically include tip fees, the first consideration should be to make it the most convenient for people to dump and leave waste materials. The more efficient place to accept incoming material is closer to the grinding area, so as its processed end product can gradually move toward the front and be ready for retail. Controlling the flow from where the material is received can significantly reduce the number of times it's moved with loaders, helping to save on equipment costs, fuel, and labor. The second stop is the incoming material and grinding area. For the safety of customers, only trained employees should have access to this area of the operation. Material flow and efficient handling are the most important at this stage. Grinding is one of the highest cost functions of any operation, so it is important to fully use the grinder throughput potential. Materials should be able to be pushed from the drop-off area to the grinder, and the discharge should be pointed in the direction of the composting area. The third stop is the composting area. Here you need to look at things from the ground up, starting with the area's base and then looking at how the area drains stormwater runoff. While a dirt pad may be the most economical option, it's not going to be the most efficient or create a higher quality compost. Concrete or asphalt pads often offer the best surface for producing quality finished composts. Compost stored in windrows is preferred to underaged static piles because it can be aerated more effectively and will break down faster, which means more efficient use of space and a smaller percentage of overs when it comes time to separating your finished products. To optimize drainage, the composting area needs to have a slope so there are places for water to go after experiencing a heavy rain. To keep water from becoming trapped between compost rows, windrows should run parallel with the slope of the pad. The spacing of windrows should be kept to a minimum to help maximize the space used. The fourth stop is the screening and finishing area. This area should be positioned between the composting area and retail space to help minimize the material handling involved. Trommel screens should be positioned so overs are coming off the conveyor near the composting side of the yard and fines are near the retail space. This can help reduce cross-contamination of material, which will help result in a higher quality end product. The fifth stop is the retail area. The setup and layout of this space will depend on your customer base. If you're selling in bulk, piles are okay. If you're bagging products, be sure that bulk material is positioned as close as possible to help minimize cycle times. Barriers should be put in place to minimize contaminants, like plastic and paper, from blowing into the retail area. Drainage and coverage should also be considered to keep materials dry and to maintain good quality. The sixth and final stop is the drainage pond and perimeter. Part of being a quality compost producer is being a good steward of the land. Constructing a series of drainage ponds on the lower side of your property near the composting rows and establishing a barrier of trees or fencing to catch light plastic contaminants can be a good idea and are often required by state and local officials. As you can see, setting up your facility to help minimize movement and deliver optimal compost maturing conditions can help you develop and grow a successful composting business. Download your free composting facility layout guide at vermeer.com composting.